Welcome to Pathways to Chemistry. This is Dr. O'Connor. Today we're going to talk about converting from one temperature scale to another. Let's take a look at this problem. It states that a patient has a body temperature of 38.9 degrees Celsius. Normal body temperature in Fahrenheit is 98.6. Does the patient have a fever and what is her temperature in Kelvin? Well, a lot of you might already know that physiological or normal physiological body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. But if you don't know that, what you would have to do is you'd have to convert the 38.9 degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit in order to determine if the patient had a fever. So when we do that, um, when we're converting from Celsius to Fahrenheit, we use a formula that looks um, like this, 1.8 times the temperature in uh, degrees Celsius, okay, plus 32. So let's just talk about that for a moment. Um, water freezes at 32 degrees and boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And in the Celsius scale, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius and freezes at 0 degrees Celsius. So we can say that 100 um, Celsius degrees is going to be equal to 180 Fahrenheit degrees. Okay, so what we can do is we can um, we can look at it this way: one Celsius degree is equal to 180 over 100, okay, Fahrenheit degrees. All right, let me just um, okay. So. And, of course, we can um, reduce this to 9 fifths Fahrenheit degrees, okay? So what we need to do is when we're converting from degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit, first we need to change the degree size, okay? And then we also need to adjust for the zero point. Remember, in degrees Fahrenheit, water freezes at 32 degrees. Okay, so that's where the 32 comes in. And of course, the 1.8 here is equal to 9 over 5. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this conversion. So we have degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 1.8, okay, times, in this case, 38.9 degrees Celsius plus 32. That gives us 102 degrees Fahrenheit. So, to answer the first part of the question, yes, the patient does have a fever. Okay, we know that um, 102 is, I mean, that's um, definitely a high fever. All right, so now we're being asked, what is the temperature in Kelvin? Well, all we need to do for that, remember, Kelvin temperature is well, for one thing, we don't use a degree symbol. And remember, we call the Kelvin scale the absolute scale. So basically, the Kelvin scale uses the same size degree as we use in the um, Celsius scale, okay? But the zero point is different. So and we call that absolute zero or zero Kelvin. And at zero Kelvin, that's equal to a negative 273.15 degrees Celsius. So that means we have an absolute temperature scale. In other words, all of the temperatures on the Kelvin scale are positive. Okay, so water is going to freeze at 273.15 Kelvin and it's going to boil at 373.15 Kelvin. So then we can write then a little formula here for Kelvin and it's the degree, degrees Celsius, whatever the temperature is in degrees Celsius, plus 273.15. So for this problem, we have 38.9 degrees Celsius plus 273.15. And let's see, that is going to give us 312.1 Kelvin. 